welcome to your mathematics class with your online teacher. This is our first week work on mathematics and our topic is whole numbers. And it is for you in basic form. So now pay close attention and listen to what you are expected to do after the entire week of learning this particular session of whole numbers. Number one said you should be able to count in thousands and millions. Number two, write numbers up to thousands and millions in words and in figures. Number three, identify prime numbers less than 100. And number four, express numbers as products of prime factors. All these are simple once you pay close attention. When I mean close attention, don't let your neighbor distract you. If your neighbor is doing such, report him or her to your teacher. So now we're looking at counting in thousands and millions. Let us take out some few facts when we want to count in thousands and millions. We say we count in thousands and millions same way we do in ones. The difference is the length of the digits involved. When we are counting in ones, we have only one digit involved. When we are counting in tens, we have two digits involved. When we are counting in hundreds, we have three digits involved. When we are counting in thousands, we can have four, five, six digits involved. When we are counting in millions, we can have seven, eight, nine digits involved. So now that is the difference, but it's all the same thing, but difference is the digits involved and pronunciation according to their value. I repeat, the difference is the digits involved and the pronunciations according to the values of the digits. So number two point says, there are two ways of counting in thousands and millions. They are counting in ascending order and descending order. Now let's look at point three. When counting in ascending order, the number increases when you're asked to fill up the gap of a given number and you see a number. The next number you're seeing is bigger than the number you saw first. You know that they are ascending. They are what? Increasing. Another name for ascend means what? Increase. Going up. While when we counting in descending order, the number is decreasing, is reducing. The first number you see is smaller than the next number you see. Sorry, is bigger than the next number you're seeing. You know that the number is what? Decreasing. Now, to find the number of thousands or millions we are counting, we ought to get two closer numbers, subtract to get the difference. Now, there is an example to show you better. Let's look at that. Okay, let's look at what we mean by counting in thousands and then millions. So now you see there are three shades of counting in thousands. We are looking at counting in thousands specifically. There are three shades. Of counting in thousands they are the HTU of thousands the hundred tens and units of thousands we have the hundred thousands the tens thousands and the unit thousands when we are looking at the hundred thousands we're looking at hundred thousands two hundred thousand three hundred thousands four hundred thousands five hundred thousands six hundred thousands seven hundred thousands to nine hundred thousands and when we are looking at the tens of thousands, we are looking at 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, and to 90,000. Same goes the unit thousands. The 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. We also have the 8. Thousands and the ninety thousand. That is it for counting by the shades or the values of thousand. So now look at what I mean, meant by point four in the in two previous slides before. We have nine thousand here. We have dash dash 
and 12,000 here. Now, can you tell me if we are counting in ascending order or descending order? Is the number increasing? We have 9,000 here, and the next number we are seeing is 12,000. So, are we counting in ascending order or in descending order? We are counting in ascending order. The number is increasing. Now, it's increasing by what? What are they adding continuously? The, what is a particular number they are adding continuously? So that we will add them to know what should be in these empty spaces right here. So they said to find the missing numbers, you have to subtract the two given numbers. Thus, 12,000 minus 9,000. We have 3,000. So now listen to me. You don't just take the 3,000 to add to 9,000 to get what is here. That is where you will fail it. Look at the next thing they said. We then divide the answer by the number of spaces from 9,000 to 12,000. How many spaces are there from 9 to 12? We have 1, 2, okay, let's see. From 9 to 12, 1, 2, 3. So we have to divide 3,000 by 3. That is 3,000 divided by 3, which gives us 1,000 each. Thus, we add 1,000 to each digit to get the answer to the blank space. That is, 9,000 plus 1,000 is 10,000. 10,000 should be here. 10,000 plus 1,000 is 11,000. 11,000 should be here. 11,000 plus 1,000 is 12,000, which gives us the 12,000 here. And 12,000 plus 1,000 is 13,000, which should be here. Do you understand this right now? Good. Now look at example 2. They said, a research shows that the population of country A, that is America, is increased by 10,000 every year. If the, popular, if the population of the country was 200,000, that is if 200,000 people were in the country in the year 2019, find the population of the country in the year 2020 and 2021. What do we do? They say every year it is increased by 10,000. So what are we going to do? Let's see that. Key notes to reading in numbers in millions. When we are counting in millions, every number is made up of a digit. You should recall that. Digits are parts of a number. Example, 2, 3, 23 is made up of two digits. 4, 5, 6, 456 is made up of two digits. 6, 7, 8, 9, 6,789 is made up of four digits. We said to read a number, Point three, we must first count how many digits the number has. Point four, in reading long numbers, we should first identify the periods and use comma to separate them. Point start five, we start separating periods from four digits, which means from four from three two to one digit, there is no need to put a comma. We say number six. Where there is one comma, we read in thousands. Where there are two commas, point seven, we read in millions. And the second in thousands. That's what they meant by it. They said problems involved in counting in millions. Remember that million numbers are between seven to nine digit numbers and has two periods, thus two commas given. They say complete the missing numbers. 1 million, 2 million, what will be here? 3 million, what will be here? 4 million. They said how many groups of 100,000 are in 2 million? Simple. Look at where I did it. Okay, number 1, 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million. So now, how many groups of 100,000 are in 200,000? Are in 2 million, sorry. What you will do is what? Divide it. Use the zeros. Three zeros out, three zeros out. Two zeros out, two zeros out. We are left with two and zero. 
1 divided by 2 is 2. We are left with what? 20. So which means there are 20 groups of 100,000 in 2 million. So let's see exercises. You open to your page 6 and 7 of your textbook, your learn mathematics textbook, page 5. Then you will see these questions. It said, How many groups of thousands are there in 8,000, 25,000, 132,000, 800,000, 950,000? Put the commas, then you pronounce. Complete the gap with the counting numbers in thousands and millions. Bravo. Have a nice day and stay educated.